What happens when you combine working formula of game development, period in which nostalgia sells, and playing it extremely safe? Assassin's Creed Mirage. When they said they were going back to the roots, I did not expect them to be this literal. With this video, I will briefly go over Assassin's Creed Mirage's good and bad things, with the question of whether this was just a quick cash grab, and should we believe in going back to the roots story. Before I get into what I liked and did not like about Assassin's Creed Mirage, I would like to remind everyone about a different game, more specifically the arguments surrounding that game. The game is of course Starfield. Starfield's release was kinda divisive. On one hand, the game had good reviews and pretty good reception from Bethesda fans, while on the other, people found dozens of things to point out as bad. One side of this misunderstanding used something that could be called Bethesda argument. It was used to argue for decisions made in Starfield. Is Bethesda formula? It is how they do things, and so on. Well, Assassin's Creed Mirage is exactly like that. You could argue for it with Ubisoft argument. This game is just another Assassin's Creed game. It follows the very well-known formula, plays on nostalgia, no experiments, no risks. The Ubisoft formula, at least for AC games and also for Far Cry games, is pretty familiar by now. Have an open world, sprinkle points of interest around map, after player completes all the checkboxes, have it all culminate in, and this is with a very heavy quotation marks, a boss fight. If you are someone who is just in love with AC games and the universe they created, you might be fine with that. Nothing lost, nothing found. However, if you're someone who comes into this game with expectations backed from other RPG games, you will find dozens of things that are bad and are stuck in the past. Itemization is almost non-existent, NPC intelligence is questionable, parkour is janky after 16 years of iteration, melee combat is their worst implementation of it ever, it is very clunky, punishing, seems like a mix of the auto combat Assassin's Creed had before, and action combat Odyssey, Origins, and Valhalla have. Pretty much an afterthought. Story is alright, same old Assassin's Creed story you can predict at this point. This is also a conflicting game from the game design perspective. It treats you as a total beginner of RPG games, but a lot of tips and tutorials for a stealth slash mystery game, but on the other hand, the story does not make much sense unless you have some knowledge of previous games. It is very hard to get into this game after playing Cyberpunk, Baldur's Gate, Hogwarts Legacy, or even in some way Lies of P. At this point, you might start wondering how the hell these happened. Well, there must be something good about this game. And there is. Stealth is the best part of it. Assassin's Focus looked gimmicky when I first saw it in the gameplay trailer, but I think there might be something in there. I think Ubisoft should triple down on stealth and parkour plays and make the story as a background thing that you just pick up in missions, ultimately transforming this game into a Ubisoft's Hitman. Scaling down from a huge open world to a single location was another good decision about this game. Not only does it bring back the old feeling of Assassin's Creed, but open world concept has become hollow, especially in Ubisoft games. It's not a vast region full of opportunities ready for you to explore. No, it turned into an empty vastness that holds points of interest, usually camps or forts, that are used as pre-requirement for the main story. You could make an argument that Mirage follows the same formula, but just on a smaller scale, and you'd be right. However, I think that even with that repetition, this smaller scale flows much better, especially since it is a stealth slash parkour game. I think there's more to utilize with a smaller, limited location than with great spaces. I wanna end this one with a question and a quote from the game. Is nostalgia enough? Should the Feather argument, or in this case Ubisoft argument, be a valid shield against criticism? Do not let nostalgia cloud reality, Basim.